All right, so summary for Takenoko. Well, um, in case it wasn't apparent, we are definitely, definitely enamored with this game. We really, really enjoy it. We love the fact that, you know, it's something children can understand and play, but not so simple that, you know, us grown-up types are just going, uh, the whole time. You know, <laughs> those of us who have had to suffer through an umpteen billionth game of shoots and ladders or Candyland will understand <laughs> how nice that is. And, I mean, the production is really, really top-notch in this game. Nice, thick, colorful, beautiful tiles. The art on the cards. The player boards are just gorgeous. The pen and, is adorable. You know, there's some extra space on punch sheet. Instead of leaving it blank, they included just these two cool art tiles. They don't do anything in the game, but they made, you know, special, pretty tiles. They're just adorable because they had extra space on the board. And, uh, you know, it's that kind of care and detail that really shines through in the whole production. I mean, the rule book is a comic book for the first couple pages. <laughs> I mean, it's awesome. Tells the Just story of how the paint comes All these extra little details that they didn't have to do, but that they did. And they still kept the price very, very reasonable. You can find this, you know, on your usual Amazon-type places for 35, 40 bucks, you know somewhere in there, which for all of this is great. It's a steal. Uh, you know, the neat wooden dice with the great little symbols on there and everything. You know, the, uh, the individual player tokens have different designs and shapes to them. You know, uh, I think they're supposed to be flower type shapes and symbols, but you know, whatever they are, they look neat. We are gardening. You know, they're all, uh, everything's wood. <laughs> I mean... The bamboo? Yeah. Bamboo is actual wood, not actual bamboo, of course, but well, right. bamboo would make terrible game pieces. And At least I would imagine. But yeah, no, it um, really, really, really top-notch stuff. I mean, it, it puts a lot of FFG products to shame. It really does. I mean, outside of extravagant, over-the-top Kickstarter productions, you don't see components and, you know, quality higher than this. You know, and the, obviously the Kickstarter stuff is hit and miss at best. Uh, now, um, you know, we do certainly have some grumbles with it. You know, very minor things for the most part. Um, it can be a long, arduous, and occasionally impossible process to irrigate some sections of the board. If no one's, you know, cooperating with you at all, yeah. You're kind of out of luck. I mean, you could sit there and take river tile after river tile after river tile, and, you know, just everyone else is sitting there scoring cards, and you're just like, oh, jeez. You know, and with the pinks especially, I mean, as you can see, pretty much, I mean, this is it for the pinks right here. That's it. So if you've got, you know, a landscape involving a lot of pinks, and no one's cooperating with you, you know, you, you're kind of out of luck. Uh, but, you know, it's it's a very small amount of luck, and honestly, your best move in that case is probably just forget about that card and, you know, get another yeah. and move on. Um, and, of course, uh, it would be nice if there were a way to get these guys without a die roll. Oh my gosh, yes. There's no action you can take, nothing you can do to get these, but roll the dice and get the purple cloud there. That's it. Yeah. If you can't get a purple cloud, you can't get one. Period. And you gotta hope the tile comes out. Right. Yeah, and it's, if you need one, you know, somewhere special for some reason, you're just, you gotta hope. Mm -hmm. But, you know, very, very minor quibbles there. They really are. And, um, you know, the the pros very much outweigh the cons for us. I mean, we yeah. really enjoy this one. It's, you know, if you got kids, no kids, like kids, I mean, anything involving kids, this is a great one. You know, our youngest is six and has no problems keeping up with the game. You know, every now and again you point out a higher level strategic move to her, but, I mean, that's about it. She beat me. Yes, yes, she did. Camera wife, for those keeping score, came in dead last. Yeah. So, you know, kids even have a decent shot at a game that's much more strategy than luck. Um, and uh, we've also found that uh, 
that it's a great gateway game. You know, mm -hmm. it's a very attractive theme and very, very visually appealing, which makes it easier to get, you know, non-gamers on board because it's just fun to look at. Even if, you know, they're confused by what's going on at first. I mean, look at this. This I'm is so neat bamboo. looking. Shoot. How is that And not it's cool? definitely a theme that's, you know, not going to turn off most people. Or at least it's certainly not going to offend anyone. I mean, maybe there's somebody offended by it bamboo but uh, <laughs> I guess you can't please everybody and that person sorry you're out of luck um, you know so it uh, it's definitely definitely very much uh, an accessible game we found it to be you know quite enjoyable and I wouldn't want to play it 10 20 30 times in a row you know <coughs> oh, excuse me like some games but um, Coming out now and again, it's a it's a fantastic little game to you know get the family or friends whoever together, and uh, you know beats the heck out of a lot of the alternatives. You know it was a Golden Geek Award winner as you can see uh, down there on the box, and absolutely deserves it. It's definitely one of Bowser's finer works. Uh, yeah, definitely one of his best accomplishments, and um, yeah, I mean that's about all there is to say about that. I would think. Pretty much sums it up, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Till next I mean, time, that's Takenoko. So, uh, get off your computer and play some more games. Maybe yes. this one. Unless we want to focus on how incredibly adorable the panda is. Anyway, play more games. I'm sorry. Bye.